Okay, the integration project. This project is worth 20% of your grade. Um, exams are worth 50% of your grade. If that makes you, I think the fact that it's worth 20% of your grade just should make you feel like um, it's important. I've put a high price on it because it's quite possibly one of the most valuable um, learning experiences in this class. And look into my eyeballs. It's a research paper. That's it. Have you done a research paper before? You'll be fine. It's, it's, um, there are pieces of physio that thematic components of human physiology that you will need to include in a research paper on a topic of your choosing. Pick any topic you want. I will provide you feedback on good topics and bad topics because I have done this project enough to know the things, for example, you have to connect your topic to homeostasis. You have to have a cellular mechanism. You have to have some kind of feedback loop. You have to illustrate the fact that body systems work together to maintain healthy function. You have to look at, you know, what happens if healthy function fails. And so get, picking a topic that is conducive to all of those things is important, but honestly, I haven't had very many topics that I've gone, ugh, that's a bad topic. Last semester, I had some amazing projects come in. And this ha is a work in, like it's, I've done it many times, and I am honing in on um, how to best support you in this process. So it's a semester-long project. If you look at your schedule, I am going to show you that there's an entire column that is for integration project benchmarks. And this is done because um, the first time that I did the integration project, I mean, this every semester I am improving this project, improving uh, my students' ability to be successful with this project. And it involves a lot of support and guidance on my end of things. The first semester that I taught, that I did this project, I said, um, do, write a paper, connect homeostasis, integrative nature, blah, 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 go. And my students went, <laughs> and it was awful. Their, pro their outcome was horrible. The papers were a disaster. Like, it was, it was awful. <laughs> and everybody hated it. I was like, oh, man, that was brutal. <laughs> so I made some tweaks, and I tried to improve some stuff. And oh, after, what, five years, seven years, however long I've been doing this thing, I've identified that we need benchmarks. And the benchmarks, here they are. There's ten of them over the course of the semester. You'll notice that the benchmarks don't start until after our first um, exam. And then it's pretty much on a weekly basis that we have a benchmark happening. There are some times where there's a couple of them in sequence, but if that happens, usually there's a work day associated with it where we're actually going to do a benchmark together. Ultimately, you're going to write your paper, and check this out, dude. One of your benchmarks is to write a freaking rough draft of your paper. Give it to me, and I'm going to grade that puppy. I'm going to grade it like I would grade your final paper, and then I'm going to give it back to you with all that feedback, and you're going to say, and it's like five points, five. Each one of these benchmarks is five points, five. You're going to use all the feedback that you're going to get, all the magical, awesome feedback from me because I like to give feedback. And then you're going to write your final paper and you're going to turn it in after you got a grade on an entire version. So 100% of my students improve their integration project grades, paper grades from the rough draft because they get so much targeted feedback. I mean, all you have to do is do the things that I suggest, and then your grade is going to improve. So um, you turn in your final paper. Now, your final paper is 200 points. 
but you have an entire semester of me working with you and helping you do that thing successfully. Um, this project is the place where I get to see you thinking. I get to see you not, I'm not grading your writing. I'm grading your ability to communicate with me. And I'm giving you advice and feedback all semester long. So I feel super confident that if you come in and you're like, oh, I don't feel like I'm a very good writer, you'll be fine. I want you to be a really good thinker. And then all you have to do is communicate your thinking to me. And as long as you're doing that, you're golden because the amount of feedback that you'll get from me on your writing and how to word things and where, where it's confusing, dude, it's, it really is magic. Because it's 20 percent of your grade, you'll notice that I have days built in where um, instead of a lab activity, we're working on the integration project. And that is done so that you have support and feedback. The other like magical thing that's happening this semester that hasn't ever happened before is I have past students who rocked the thing, who are going to come in and provide support and advice, and they're going to read stuff, and they're going to give you feedback, and they've been through the process. And so they know that, dude, you're going to start out maybe being a little scared, and by the end you're going to be like, dude, I learned something in a great deal of depth. So um, the hype, stop the hype right now. It doesn't help anybody. Like it definitely doesn't help you to be stressed about this project before we even get into it. You, <laughs> I've seen it done lots of times and you will be fine. So we're going to spend the entire first lab of class talking about the integration project. So you're going to have a whole hour and a half to look at the project, talk about ideas. Possibly, I'm hoping that we'll have some examples to look at from the students who are going to help us out, um, just so you can not stress about stuff. Okay, don't stress ever. Done. No stressing. And to help you not stress, the last thing that we're going to talk about is how you are going to schedule your life. And this is something that um, if you've done a Riggs class, then you uh, probably are just fine. Like you probably have a sense of how to schedule your life to fit the parts and pieces in. But I still want to talk about it for everybody else so that you are thinking ahead about um, if your previous MO was go to class and then study before the exam, um, that's not going to work, and it wouldn't work in any physio class because the content is just too dense. So let's talk, shall we?